Welcome to this um, cooling light session about our air purger, the IPS. My name is uh, Kurt Sen, I'm the product manager here at Danfoss, and here's my colleague. Hello, my name is Artem, I'm a technical expert in dust refrigeration. So today we'll talk about our IPS, so Intelligent Purging System. I'm really eager here to, to inform you about our, our air purger. Uh, the product here is designed for industrial refrigeration ammonia plants and it um, helps you to have a smart way to improve your system uh, efficiency. Why is it a good idea to have an air purger? Well, um, it's a fact that air is the most common non-condensable gas that is impacting industrial refrigeration systems. How do we face this uh, issue in, in our system? Well, um, we can face that during uh, operation or service. If we take operation, if you are vacuuming the, the system uh, at about minus 33 C in at ammonia, you will lead to a passage of uh, uh, air as a non-condensable gas. It could also be at a, at a service, if you need to charge refrigerant, could be ammonia or oil that could lead to, to such a, a, a system. So. Once you have those non-condensable gases in your system, it leads to a reduction of your refrigeration capacity. And also it will uh, mean that you will have a less, um, a less efficient uh, system. Now, with the air purger, on the other hand, if you install a Danfoss air purger, it will maximize your system performance and also lower your operating cost of your plant. Now, um, the Danfoss Air Purger, if you compare our product with similar systems um, at the market, most of the systems that, that we, we face are what we call integrated systems. Those systems are fairly labor intensive. You have to do the welding, you have to do the assembly, a lot of processes that you need to, to manage. And that could possibly lead to um, a gas, a air, that uh, can go into your, into your system. So there's a lot of potential possibilities for those integrated system. With the Danfoss Air Purger, which we call a standalone solution, which basically, which you'll see later here, a complete device, a complete product, uh, with including electrical um, solutions. The most important thing here, if you compare to the integrated, is that there's one point of interference to to your planet. So it's a self-contained system versus the, the integrated system. Now, uh, finally, before I hand over to, to Artem, the IPS here, which you will be have more details in a second, um, is an automated solution. It has a built-in electronic controller that will take care of your purging of your valves automatically. Other systems that we see out there has a rigid time-based time schedule, whereas ours is a automated system that will adapt to the operating condition simply by purchasing on demand. And with these words, I will hand it over to Artem. Hi guys, it's again me, Artem. So today we'll try to look inside of our IPS, Intelligent Deputage System from Danfoss. As you know, Danfoss is trying to make a plug and play device. So this device is very simple to maintain, to install and to do some reworks if needed. So let's look inside of it, what we have inside the cage. So very simple things which we have here inside of it. We have a condenser. Second part is the heart of our device is a small compressor right here. And of course, some typical refrigeration circle parts. For instance, exp term expansion valve, side glasses, filters, and of course, receivers. And one of the smartest things which we have here, traditional Danfoss pressure transmitters and temperature sensors. So this device is plug and play, standalone, so you don't need to do anything. And especially, now we're coming to a more interesting part of it, electrical box where we have a controller which, which are controlling the whole device and how it works and checking our algorithms, etc. So inside of our electrical box, we have MCX controller, which helping us to maintain our pudging cycles. And of course, here we have some additional equipment, for instance, fuses, power supplies, controller, MCX15, and of course, plugs 
where we need to install our push point solenoids, which provide us opportunity to maintain up to eight points in the same time. So this is very simple, but maybe a bit tricky. But again, for installation, we need to have only one wire with power supply and eight coils for our push solenoid valves. So nothing specific. And of course, we have very nice and interesting outlet here so we can really see from a far away what we're doing so for instance we're standby we're waiting for something or compressor is running or we're in pudging mode or we have some issues and the last part of the device but very important part patented Danfoss type of evaporator for IPS8 as you see very simple design but of course has some interesting features for example we have a special port here for one of our additional products, which have been released not far away, it's called LLS. So this small device, liquid level switch, can help us to understand that, for example, we have a liquid inside of an IPS and we can stop our machine and wait until it will be draining. So that's all about our inside parts of IPS. And now we'll try to talk a bit more about functionality. So how it really works. So for example, so we open the first push point from one of eight, as you see, and nothing is working. We're waiting until we receive a signal for compressor. So it could happen, for instance, if we have a proper setting of the pressure. So we reach our setting of the pressure, which are saying that we have air in the system. We turn up a compressor for 45 minutes and we're trying to cool down our ammonia inside of it. So we're trying to reach a set point to open the main drain solenoid, which help us to remove air. And as you see, it's going, but it's never reached a threshold. So what happened there? We just switch off a machine and start at the next point. As you see here, we are now working with a second point and compressor is stopped. So what happened afterwards? After a small delay, again, compressor will start up and try to make the same circle. But in a case when we have non-condensables inside of the system, what will happen? Again, we open the first push point then we try to run a compressor for 45 minutes and suddenly we reach our lowest threshold here so we start a pushing process and as you see we have I would say cut in limit and cut out limit so what's happening when we reach cut off limit compressor will continue so our timer here goes to 45 minutes again and we're trying to push it for additional 45 minutes to try to condense ammonia and to get non-condensables out so but as you see here, nothing happened. Valve was never opened. So what happened now? We again, we're switching to second push point. And we'll continue this cycle on all eight points which are available on IPS8 right now. And now I want to give a word to Kurt again. Yeah, thank you, Atem. So uh, hopefully now you have some um, essential um, features uh, learned here by, by, by Atem. And um, just a, a, a few catch up here on, on the product as such. The product here uh, is available in a, what we call a 50 hertz version, basically normally intended for, for Europe. <clears throat> However, we have also recently released um, a 60 hertz version because of no, we, we are aware of that these are being used also in, in South America to some extent in, in Asia. And in the next, uh, within the next few months, we will also release um, a 60 hertz for the North American market with carrying an a UL uh, approval. Thanks for listening to, to this session about the, the air purchase. We really appreciate your time. There will be a Q&A session here right after uh, this uh, part here. Thank you. Goodbye.